All right, welcome to another episode of the Volleyball Day Lad. I'm your host, Tyler. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, Nate Goh's expected kill model. I thought it would be cool to uh, check out what other people are doing, you know? Um, there's a lot of other people that have posted some public stuff that I think it would be cool to go through. Uh, see what's going on. Um, so I have Nate's blog post post um, right here. And so what I'm going to do, I already have the code uh, up. Um, so I'm not going to read through it, uh, his blog post, but I'm just going to run through the code. Um, and then see, hopefully it doesn't take a long time to run, but it may. So right now we're just going to prep our data. Um, we could probably combine those, but that's fine. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, and then we're going to go attack. So you have here. So one thing Nate does do that I'm adjusting a bit is he is having a, and he says at the top here, um, he converts the start and XY coordinates um, into the integer that data volley provides. Uh, he likes to use that. I'm just going to use the what's there. Using, I think using it in this way is smart. Um, I think it fixes the location for specific attack combos. I could be wrong. I haven't really looked at it. So that's just my guess. Um, right. So we're going to run this stuff. All right. So we're just going to start right into it. Last time I kind of messed with this, I um, my data set was just too large. Uh, so I have 30,000. Let's let's change that to attack head. Do it that way. There we go. All right. Now, hopefully this doesn't take a long time to run because last time I tried it, it was taking me a while. Um, perfect. Thank you for not being so slow. All right. So now we have that. So basically, we're just going to do that. Click predictions. We're going to attack model and we're gonna actually call this b10 all right and then is there anything else i did oh yeah year actually you know let's leave that off let's see if that works so basically what i'm doing is i'm taking the 2022 season and i'm putting it into the model I'm now going to take that model and I'm going to apply it to the entire data set let's see if it works I think it will and it should evaluation code my bad I change it to grade because I like the word grade Feels... so now it's doing the predictions so we can see. Attack probabilities, attack predictions, data attack. X kill evaluation code, grade. All right, so now what do we have? So he's doing a group by, we have data attack, buying call. All right, so data attack, whoops, I think is gonna have what I want. Um, it's gonna have all the columns. Cause I wanna kind of I do is a group by player name, year, uh, year team. Actually, I wanna year team. Um, and then we'll just do a count. Let's see if that's what I want. I think it is. All right. So then what I want to do is I want to do the same thing right here with his summarize. Um, but this time, what I want to do is, uh, actually I want to group by, um, a player, or excuse me, uh, set number um because then what we're gonna do is uh we have expected kills here and we're gonna give it we're gonna say instead of some we're gonna say mean and make sure that works 
we're going to call it expected kill uh, mean. And then we're going to say uh, kills. And then we're going to go divide by n. Take that off. Actually, no, we're going to leave that on because well, we're probably going to kill percentage. So now, um, set number n. So now what we can do is uh, um, filter n is greater than 10. So now we're getting, okay, let's actually say like, I don't know, 50. So now we only have 1200 people. So, uh, players. So what we could, we could, we could make this further. We could say 10 and then we can even go match ID. So what basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out there's 3000. That's a pretty good number. So let's do this. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. GG plot AES. Um, we're going to go XK mean. So we're, we're just looking at, um, how well this performed versus the actual kill percentage. Uh, Geom point. Geom smooth. S equals false. Method equals LM. Let's see what we get. So kill percent is zero. I wonder why are there kill percent? Am I filtering still? I am. There's players with kill percentage zero that's bizarre that blows my mind dang that match id that girl that was a rough match <laughs> she uh that was too bad too bad wasn't it dang that's annoying all right so maybe let's let's boost this up to 20 actually you know what would 50 work no too much I think 20 is even too much, yeah. So, darn. So yeah, looking at it this way, I don't really love that it, um, I, I don't like that the slope isn't more like, you know, I want it, I want the dots to be closer to the line. That's basically it. And I think what we could do, let's take off match ID and see if that helps it. So that's closer. That's a, that's a much, much better looking at it by uh, the set level. Um, as you can see so just kind of like exploring so what if we took off set number let's see what it looks like so that's even tighter that looks better I still there's some uh, outliers going on over here uh, under 30 30 and 15 or 10 ish um, actually I like that yeah let's, let's try it by match idea let's see what that does that doesn't help what do we do it by a team Nope. Well, we um, we take off a year match ID. Well, the match ID is just gonna do the same thing, but we could do it that way. Hmm, that's pretty tight. That's that's better. I, I like that better. Let's let's go by set number again. So I think set number is probably the best, just because there's more. So if I were to use this model in in some of my presentation of the shiny, like I did last time. I would definitely go by uh, probably set number. You could even go a step further and do reception quality. I don't have reception quality currently on all of my on my data uh, on this data. Um, what else do we have? We have rotation, setter position, and actually, what you can do is go. Faucet wrap center position. It's all the same pretty much. Let's take off set number again. So you can kind of see uh, where the, the model is evaluating really well. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of a way to explore uh, the model. Um, actually, let's do it this way too. Let's do one more thing. Um, let's take off setter position because I have even looked at, uh, uh, DT data table. Let's do it that way. Oh, wait, then we'll go, um, uh, let's minimize that. Row. We gotta go, uh, row names equal fault. 
And then we're going to say um, scales percent. Let's see. There we go. Now let's check that out. So now, oh, dang it. like that there we go all right i still we could still make it better actually you know what we could do i think we can ah show a new window that's what i'm talking about all right sorry my bad um all right you'll just have to see my bookmarks so now we can see it this way. So now, there we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we can kind of look at it better. So in this way, uh, let's move that up. So now let's see this. So um, Lauren was overperforming. Elena was underperforming just a bit. Dana was overperforming for sure. So yeah, just a different way to kind of scope it out. Um, cool. Yeah, there's the uh, Nate goes uh, expected kill model. Throw it into your data. Use it. Maybe uh, I didn't see anything in a blog in his blog post about make you should make be making subs if someone's below a certain point, but I don't know. That's uh, that's a hard hard sell. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Who knows? I don't. I haven't done indoor for a long time. So there it is.